Hi friends! How are you today? I have missed you so much. I hope that you are doing well and you are welcome to Miss Rachel's Learning Corner. Do we have new friends with us today? Let us first welcome all our friends who have come to learn with us. Welcome friends! Welcome friends! Let us learn together! Hello! 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 How are you? I'm fine! I'm fine! I hope you are too! Hello! 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 How are you? I'm fine! I'm fine! I hope you are too! I hope that every boy and every girl in Miss Rachel's Learning Corner today is fine. In our lesson today, children, we are going to learn how to do addition using a number chart. Addition using a number chart. I will be showing you in a few. So sit nicely, your looking eyes on, your listening ears on, and listen to Miss Rachel so that you do not miss out on anything that we are going to learn. So children, right now we are going to learn addition using a number chart. There are so many ways that we can do addition sums. So today we are learning addition using number chart. And this is how you do it. For example, 3 plus 6. What are we going to do to solve the sum of 3 plus 6? Where is number 6? Where is number 3? You know where number 3 is. Then you count 6 times. Forward. I start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Where did I stop at? I stopped at number 9. So the sum of the total sum of 3 and 6 equals to 9. You come here and write number 9. We can try another one. We can try 1 plus 9. Mm -hmm. Let us try one. This is one here. How many times forward will I count? Nine times. I have to count nine times forward so that I find my answer. One, you don't start where the starting sum is. You start from here, from the next number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, the total sum of 1 and 9 equals to 10. I write 10. What about when you're challenged with a bigger number? Let's see. 6 plus 8. Where is number 6? Number 6 is here on our chart. Now, how many times forward are we going to count? We are going to count 8 times Forward. So where do I start? I don't start at six. I start from seven. Uh huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I repeat again. Our sum is six plus eight. So I will point at number six and uh, and note where number six is. Then I count eight times forward and I start from seven. Uh huh. Here is number six. I start from seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times. And where did we stop at? We stopped at number 14, meaning the total sum of six plus eight is 14. I come and write 14. We can try another one. I write 10 plus 5. It's very simple. Where do I start? I first note where number 10 is. Then I count 5 times forward. And where do I start? We do not start where 10 is because that is the starting number for the sum. So we are going to start from here. 5 times. 1. 
from 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I repeat again. Our sum is 10 plus 5. So we need to find the total sum of 10 plus 5. So we note this is number 10. And how many times forward are we going to count? 5 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Meaning the total sum of 10 plus 5 is 15. I come here and write my answer. Let us try another one. We can try another one. Maybe 11 plus 4. Very simple. Very simple. Look at the chart. Where is number 11? Number 11 is here. And how many times are we going to count forward? Four times. So I start here. One, two, three, four. Again, I point at number 11 because it is the number that is starting here. Then how many times do I count forward? Four times. I count one, two, three, four. Meaning 11 plus four equals to 15 because we stopped at 15 when we counted four times forward. Let us try another one. Four plus nine. Four plus nine. We are going to find the total sum of four plus nine. Where is number four? Here is number four. How many times forward will I count? Nine times. Nine times. So I start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where did we stop at? We stopped at 13, meaning the total sum of four plus nine is 13. I come here and write 13 like that. Very easy. That way you can find the total sum of the addition sum that you're doing easily. And it is super simple. Wow, what a lovely lesson that we have learned. We keep on learning. Well, in Miss Rachel's Learning Corner, today we learned about addition using number chart. Next time, maybe we are going to learn something new. So do not forget to come to class. From me, it's a big huggy. A big huggy. Can you feel it? Is it warm? Yes, I can feel yours. It's super warm. And twinkling stars. Twinkling stars. Until next time.